it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. Oh, I'm trying not to be sad. The whole world, or the whole of England, and a lot of other places as well, are in mourning for the Queen. All oh, they've played on the radio this morning is really sad songs. I don't even put the TV on because it's just so sad. Um, so I thought, is it right to still vlog? Then I think maybe we all need to be together. So I thought, yeah, Jane, do vlog. So yeah, I'm here. I'm here for you all. But it's so sad. So our poor little queen, it's it's just so sad. She was like the nation's little grandma, bless her. And, and right at the end, she even had a little handbag with her, which really touches me. Because obviously I love handbags so much. And even on the last photo when she signed in the new Prime Minister, she got a little handbag in her hand and... Oh, bless her, it's so sad. So, anyway, it is Friday. I've just done my little Avon makeup, you know, all my little favourites. Uh, right, so let's have a look at the calendar. I wonder what the calendar will be. Because sometimes the calendar's a bit psychic. Are you ready? Okay, what does it say? Lemonade. I don't really care if my glass is half full or half empty. I'm just happy to have a glass. Oh, so that's raising a glass to the little queen, bless her. So even the weather is a bit sad and gloomy. It's so sad. So I think it's going to be a bit cloudy and dull this morning and then we've got more rain and sort of thunderstorms and stuff this afternoon. So anyway, thank Crunchy, it's Friday and we won't keep going on about the Queen. We're just gonna have a bit of a normal day because sometimes you just need a bit of normality as well. But just to let you know, we are all thinking of the family. So obviously because we've got a bit of a rolling problem at the moment, um, my little spare room currently looks like this. So everything's dragged out my attic. But I want to show you something really sweet. Hang on. Right, look at this. So it's a picture and it's from 1985. Some of you may remember this picture because I've probably showed it on here before. But my mum made this obviously in 1985. So... I would have been um, about eight, I think, when she made it. Look at it. It's so cute. So it, she, we used to really like Bromley Hedge uh, with little books with the little mice and stuff in it. So my mum did all this by hand and she used to sit, you know, at night time in the winter making this. And it's all done by hand. Isn't it adorable? So it was in an old-fashioned frame, I think. And then when I first moved to this house, uh, I was very into, like, shabby chic stuff. And my mum was going to give the picture to the charity shop. And I persuaded her not to. So I had it reframed and it used to hang in my kitchen. And when Ruby was a little baby or a little girl, sometimes if she fell over and hurt herself, we used to take her to the picture and tell her to look for things on the picture. And it took her mind off why she'd hurt herself. So we'd say, you know, like, oh, can you spot the spider? You know, can you spot the candle? The hedgehog it was all like little things so this picture to ruby is really really special so i said ruby well you can have this when you eventually leave home it's so special isn't it adorable and it just shows what you can make with just a bit of fabric really and just bits and bobs but obviously there's a feather um little mice that's laura ashley fabric we've still got some of that fabric in my fabric cupboard oh i thought you might appreciate this look there's the fire and then there's the little things on top of the fire. Isn't it sweet? And it's so old. Where are we now? 95, 2005, 2015, um, 2025. So it's clocking on, not quite, but clocking on for 40 years old. Wow. Is it normal to sit like that? Look at her legs. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. And then obviously you've got a little winner from here. So I've got my jelly bags ready to post to my lovely winners. But the Royal Mail have been on strike yesterday and today. So I've not posted them yet because obviously you won't get them because the postman on strike. But they are boxed up ready. But I've just got to get them to the post office. Winifred, I hope you're not going to leave home today. No more dramas like yesterday when you tried to leave home. <laughs> Here's my breakfast. So for breakfast this morning, we've got cram flakes and chopped banana. All oh, right, boring job. So I'm really not sure what to do today. Um, I've got a bit to tell you about Roland. I'll tell you about Roland in a minute. Um, 
Um, so I'm really not sure what to do, but I really feel like I don't want to stay in. Um, and then I think, well, where can I go? Because I know some shops have shut and stuff for the morning of the Queen, or I think they have. So I'm wondering if the chai shops will be open or not, but I feel like I just want to go for a rummage and not be in this house. <laughs> um, right. So as you may remember, um, I bought my husband like a bird camera thing for Christmas. No, not Christmas, his birthday, I think. Um, so he could watch the birds on the bird table. Well, we moved it last night because we found a bit of a hole in the roof. So we moved the camera last night. Um, we sat watching the camera for quite a long time and we saw a rat come out the roof. So we have got a rat in our roof quite a big rat I don't want to be in the house when there's rats walking about they're not actually in well they are in my house but they're not in my house they're in between the joists of my house so they're like in the under the floorboards and stuff we've had everything out there's no evidence of a rat apart from we've actually seen it on the camera so we know it's a rat not a squirrel because we did think it was a squirrel or we thought it could be a squirrel or a little mice uh, we've had mice before we've had wasps before as you know earlier on this year but we've not had rats before so we have got a rat problem so my hope is messed in the pest man who got rid of the wasps and hopefully he'll come like today or tomorrow we've got loads of traps and stuff set up and it's just you just don't want to rat in your house do you so um so it's horrible i can hear it moving around my roof lantern like i said last night uh, yesterday afternoon i could hear it i could heard it again around my roof lantern so it's working its way around and it's just everywhere I just don't want him in the house. Oh, that's how it makes me feel. And then obviously all this sadness with the queen and stuff. And it's like, I feel like I just need to escape. I just need to go somewhere. I'm feeling a bit, oh, I'm having a bit of a moment. It's not nice at all. But then I think if I'm not here, it'll probably be more active because the house will be quiet. And so maybe I should stay in. And I just want to go to a charity shop and get out of here. <laughs> Lipstick of the day. So... Lipstick of the day today is an Avon Lip Gloss Nourishing Shine in Gleaming Glava. Did we have this one on yesterday? In fact, no, I don't think we put any lipstick on yesterday. So, lipstick of the day, love this. It makes your lips so moisturised and so nice. So, it's now 20 past nine. I've rung my mum about my little Roland problem. And I said, oh, I don't want to be in. So, she's like, go out for a little bit. So, I think. And then it's like a little village where there's a couple of charity shops. And we'll take Dolly with us. Because Dolly's not been socialising for a little bit. And... I thought it'd be nice to take her out. So we won't be that long because you can't really shop when you've got a dog with you. It's quite dif difficult or when you've got a puppy with you. When they get a bit older, you can. Um, and I thought if anyone's feeling sad, perhaps seeing a puppy might cheer them up. So we're like multitasking. We're spreading a little bit of like sympathy and trying to take people's mind off the queen because it's so sad. I've got to try and get my neighbour's paper, but I've already heard that newspapers are selling out everywhere because everybody wants like a copy of the newspaper to keep because it's like a very monumental day so we might not be able to get a paper but we'll try so are you ready little dolly we're just gonna nip for a wee then we'll go right little dolly do drop are you ready to go shopping if the shops are open let's go spread some love and sympathy with everybody else we've arrived <laughs> are you worried that's why I bought you to get you out more. Um, so we've arrived. It's really funny because I've owned this car about three years, and this morning a car exactly the same as this drove towards me and they waved at me. Oh, and they flashed. That's the first time I've ever experienced that in this car. When I used to have my pink cars, people used to flash and wave all the time if they were in a pink car, but never in a little red one. It was so sweet. Oh. Right, you ready to go in a couple of shops? Ready? Let's go. Yeah. 
hand in hand back view of them both with Paddington. Oh. And the worst was, I've completed my duties. Will you please take me to my husband? Oh. Oh. And I thought that was really yeah. annoying. Are you okay? Yeah, yes. you? Yes, well, I was a bit shocked, of course. Because oh, of, the Queen. Yes, oh, uh, I know, it's so sad. Yes, you know, she's had always been a part of our lives. Yeah, really, hasn't every she? Christmas, yes. in yes. feet. And, yeah, and now yes. she's not here, it's horrible. It is, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah, it is very, very sad. Yeah. It's Ruby's birthday soon, so if you've got something fabulous, Ian. Oh, yes, <laughs> I'll keep my eyes peeled. <laughs> What's that past the pug thing? That looks funny. So obviously we've got a pug at home. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah this looks so funny. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> past the pug. <laughs> have you got some sparkly jewels on here, Ian? Shop. He's going to sing to us, right? Go. It's a god awful small affair to the girl with the mousy hair, and her mummy is yelling no, and her daddy has told her to go, but her friend is nowhere to be seen, so she walks through her sunken dream to the seat with the clearest view, and now she's hooked to the silver screen. Oh, Ian, that's absolutely adorable. Thank you, Thank you so that's much, right. bless you. Oh, that's so lovely. Thank you. Yeah, she's very sweet. She likes other dogs. Yeah. I've got two. I've got a lighter outside. Oh, have you? Oh, well, they're fabulous.
back in the car oh you had fun you've had so many people stroke you oh i think it's done you the world of good hasn't it my darling oh and little ian little ian i've known him for a very very long time he's volunteered in chat shops for like forever he's so sweet and so adorable and he's so kind he always always asks about james and ruby and how we're all getting on and he sang to me obviously i said to him do you mind if i film it because it's so sweet and he went yeah of course you can so he sang to me. I've never been sang to for, I think he sang to me once in the street and I didn't get it on camera and it's so sweet. So I think that was absolutely adorable that we got sang to. Wasn't it lovely? Yay. Anyway, let's go home. Right, we've made it home to my little rolling rat. I don't want to go in. <laughs> my husband's trying to get hold of the pest control man. Um. Right, so I'm going to nip and take my neighbour's paper now. I've actually bought myself a paper as well to keep because... This is a moment in history, so I kind of feel that you should keep it to show your great, 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 great grandchildren. There you are, it's only me. You all right? Oh, I've got you, got your paper. I'll come in a minute. Hello. Come on, Hello. Hello. <laughs> you were early bird this morning. You were. You were early bird. I've made it home. So it's half past 12, we need to get some dinner. Um, so I've been packing my jelly bags up. They're all ready to go. I'm a little duster for Liz. So I think we're gonna have a quick bit of dinner, then we're gonna nip to the post office and nip in one charity shop. And I think Dolly's de definitely ready for a nice afternoon snooze. Right, there's my dinner. So it's all sad on the news, all sad about the little queenie blesser. So dinner say, I've got seafood sticks, little tomatoes, mackerel in brine, and a cup of coffee in my VIP mug. She playing sad songs. It's so sad. Oh, I'm sure everybody in England today at some point feels like this. It just comes over you and you think, so sad. Back in the car. So I've got my parcels ready. Let's go to the charity shop and the post office. It's so sad. Oh, right. We must remain uh, cheerful. Well, not cheerful because you can't be cheerful, can you? But you know what I mean. Let's um, just remember the good times. Let's go.
made it home it's absolutely pouring with rain the weather forecast was right and they said they will get like sundry showers this afternoon and it's pouring with rain I'm sure my garden will be appreciating it so what do we buy ah, my little dollikins loves little baby toys like this 50p she'll love them um i got this really unusual glass i don't know if it's a whiskey glass or what but it's actually got a round bottom so when you put it on something it wobbles so i'm gonna give it my husband because he likes a little drop of whiskey sometimes and i thought that was really cool then i thought should i put it over christmas because where are we now september if it's october november december mm, it's really hard to buy for and this is quite unusual i might give it him i might not can't make my mind up um i got this jug it's a jasper conran jug it was three pounds a little bit more than i'd like to pay for a jug in a shop but i thought it was very very cool um still not managed to get somebody to do a shelf for me so we may end up doing a shelf ourselves but the trouble is my husband's not very clued up on diy so we'd probably do a shelf and it would probably fall down so that's why we're trying to get somebody else to do it um and i got this now if you've followed me a long time you'll know this is my favorite book it's very very rude very rude it would make you blush it's so rude but it's so good the storyline is absolutely amazing i will read it again at some point it's wonderful and i got this it's my friend's birthday soon i'm going to send her it it's so rude so rude so do you see what's so so good if you get a chance to read it do it's wonderful so i'm going to put it in a little box of treats it's very rude i hope her daughter doesn't see it she'll have to hide it away and i think that was it so hope you enjoyed my little shopping trip and now i have to ring my mum get a cup of coffee and then we we'll have to go and school run to get ruby and then my tesco food shopping will arrive Whew. right in a minute i've got to fetch ruby off the bus i've rung my little mum bless her she's all right so i got this for ruby's birthday it's so funny um i got that this morning i forgot to show you i can't wait to give that ruby it's hilarious um and i got sent a lovely present off gloria my lovely friend she did say i might already have this and i have i have already got it but my mum was trying to steal it off me so i said to my mum you can't have it till i've read it obviously i'm still reading my other book at the minute so it'll take me a while to read it so my mum can have one copy and i can have a copy so lovely gloria thank you so much for thinking of us because this will bring so much joy to me and my mum so thank you and i've had a couple of requests as well of people wanting to see the british newspapers so this is the sun um base basically it is all about the queen the whole the whole book but i did buy one to keep um so i took my neighbors obviously earlier on but this is the one that i'm going to keep this picture touches me so much because she's got a handbag lord bless her it's so so sad i mean everything comes to an end but bless her so sad Look, there's been loads of people outside the palace and, oh, really, really sad. Bless her. So if you're not from England, you might find this newspaper interesting. Obviously, it's a piece of history. So the planning where she'll go on her way home and stuff, on a funeral. Oh. So it's all about the lovely queen and obviously when it is this funeral and stuff we'll get to see it and yeah bless her the good old queen oh she's waiting for ruby to come home they all love ruby ruby's like the dog whisperer are you comfy in there i can't even see your face 
Stay comfy in there. You don't look like you plan on leaving home today. <laughs> you can tell it's slightly a little bit cooler. That's why she's all snuggled up, look. Right, off we go again. We've got to go and get Ruby from the bus. So, we made it home. We got Ruby. Mr Tesco came and he wanted to see Dolly because he owned a little Pomeranian as well. But he said his was blind and it was only seven, but he adored her. So, how sweet that it's nice to know no matter what happens to your dog that you adore them. So, he's been very busy stroking you. You've had a very busy day of strokes, haven't you, my little Dolly? So, we need to get the food shopping for them. Right, ladies and gentlemen, there's my tea. Tea in the sitting room. And my burgers fell off my cob. <laughs> so, anyway, there's my tea. So, I've got a whole meal cob, two burgers, lots of salad, a strange pug, <laughs> and some little cracker thing, like pop chip things, whatever they're called. Not quite sure what's going off with Winifred really in her bed. Don't you like your bed today? Don't you like your bed? <laughs> so often enjoy my day. <gasps> my burgers were delicious. So it is. I'm going to love you and leave you because it's already half past six and me and my hubby are going back in the attic again because there's another bit we've not cleared. Um, so we're going to try and clear that. My hubby's just up a random step ladder. Oh, the hunt for Mr. Roland continues. Um, so we've got the pest man coming tomorrow. So this should be the last night of wondering but at least we know what we're dealing with now because like i said this morning we didn't know if it was a squirrel or a rat now we know it's rolling the rat so it is if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life then please subscribe to my channel come and find me on instagram as mrs crazy bag lady my dogs have got their own instagram which is three fluffles my website is down below my little avon shop is also down below and your little jelly bags are on the way for my lovely winners so i love you and leave you i'll see you tomorrow i hope we have a better night's sleep and I hope you haven't been too sad with the Queen. And I hope we've took your mind off it a little bit. And my lovely Ian singing to me. How lovely. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.